Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Awa Hawkwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. So I want to go into a quick lesson, which is going to be a response to uh, this article I came across, which is entitled, The Next uh, Plandemic is Already Happening. Targeted uh, disease surveillance can help prevent it. And this is the direction that Esau Edom is headed towards, man. All right. Which he's not surveilling a disease. He's surveilling the people. And that's his goal. His goal is to institute, you know, a global uh, tracking system. And that's where the Haragma comes in. So he's going to use this as a catalyst to, to implement this thing. So I'm going to read just a little bit of the article, you know, just, just going into mainly, you know, different forms of, of surveillance. But the main point being they want to track people, man, which that goes back to the Haragma. That's what that Haragma is going to be uh, instituted for. So they can track you, trace you, know, uh, you know, what you're spending your money on. You know, they're going to be able to limit uh, certain purchases. You want to be able to participate in society. Unless you do what they tell you to do. You know, so if you want to buck up, you don't like certain rules and regulations that's in place, they're going to shut your Haragma off, man. So this came out uh, June 1st, 2021. And it says, as more and more people around the world are getting jabbed, one can almost hear the collective sigh of relief. But the next pandemic threat is likely already making its way through the population right now. My research as an infectious disease epidemiologist has found that there is a simple strategy to mitigate emerging outbreaks. So there's one way that we can we can, you know, stop the spread. You know, we all people don't have to get that sick. You want we don't have to deal with uh, high levels of, of deaths. All right. It says proactive real time surveillance. So they want to they want to track you, man. They want to watch you. And that's that's the this kind of system that Esau Edom is setting up. And as you see more and more of these, uh, you know, different pestilences uh, be released and, and hit the population, they're going to lock down more and more. They well, they already been saying this is the new normal. So anytime there's a, uh, you know, a disease outbreak, this is going to be the result. And you can guarantee that the next uh, lockdown is going to be more harsh, man. OK, they're going to say, look, see, the first time it didn't work as 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 intended. So we need to we need to, uh, you know, be a more severe with the lockdown measures. OK, and this is all just leading to the institution of the Haragma, man. All right. It says uh, real time surveillance in settings where animal to human disease spillover is most likely to occur. In other words, don't wait for sick people to show up at a hospital. Instead, monitor populations where disease spillover actually happens. And what's the best way to do that? Instituting a haragma. So we can check and see, okay, this person checked into this hospital. They have these kind of symptoms. Or we know where this person is, you know, because these, uh, you know, uh, jab passes. That's that's another segue, man. The, the, the main thing and the, the most secure thing, which he's that's, this is what he's going to say, is instituting the Haragma, man. And that's exactly what's coming down the pipeline. You're going to see more of these, uh, you know, pandemics happen because they're pushing an agenda for it. And what's the agenda to put a Haragma in each and every person down here upon Earth, as the scriptures say. All right. This is a. Uh, this is Psalm 64 and one. It says, hear my voice, O my power, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. And who's the enemy? The elites, the elite of Esau, Edom. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, which is the so-called Illuminati. It says, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, which this whole planet this man has. It's really geared towards conquering you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. Because what he's trying to do is establish his rulership perpetually down here upon the earth. And the only way for him to do that successfully is to take you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out of the equation. What's the best way to do that is to put you to death. And uh, th there's uh, two forms of that. 
So you got actually, you know, killing you off. And then you have, you know, you being spiritually dead in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by accepting that haragma, which the Most High is going to completely reject you if you have that. And you can't repent. So this is his way of killing two birds with, with one stone. It says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. And they have no fear when it comes to implementing this plan. They don't think that the Most High is actually going to deliver the nation of Israel, that the Most High is going to fight for us. They actually believe that they're going to get away with this thing scot-free. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say who shall see them. And that's exactly what they do. They encourage themselves in an the evil matter. What's that evil matter? Them moving forward to implement their uh, New World Order agenda, man. Which these different uh, diseases that's out here, that's all a part of it. It's all a part of their plan. Because look, look at what happened with this whole, you know, C-19 thing, man. They were able to pretty much lock down the whole world. Restrict uh, you people's rights. Which that's part of their goal anyway. You can't travel like you used to. There's new now new restrictions on, on travel. You know, it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say who shall see them. And they believe because they're, you know, discussing these things behind closed doors that nobody knows what's going on, man. All right. Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai has his angels in your councils taking note of what you're doing and reporting back to the heavenly father, man. And then on top of that, his agent is there telling you what to do. Okay. So just because you ain't the ones, you know, on the forefront, you know, implementing these things, that don't mean you're going to get away scot-free. The Most High knows exactly what's going on. And, you know, an example of that is when, uh, you know, David uh, sent that uh, man out, was it Bathsheba's uh, husband? I forget his name uh, at the moment. But David orchestrated that, man. He set, he set the man up. You know, he told him, uh, you know, his uh, men to put him on the front line where the battle's hot so he can get killed. And the Mosai knew exactly what would happen, man. The Mosai, you know, uh, uh, condemned David for that that action. So the Mosai knows everything that's going on. It says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of them and the heart is deep. But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So the Most High eventually is going to take these damn devils out. They have it in their mind that they're going to achieve this new world order. But Yahweh Shai has different plans, man. All right. Now they are going to be able to succeed to a certain extent. You know, they're going to roll the Haragma out. But at the end of the day, the Most High is going to, he's going to shut all this down, man. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a haragma in their right hand or in their forehead. And that's what the word in the Greek is. You know, when you read that uh, that M word there, which the haragma is talking about those, uh, you know, those uh, subdermal devices, man. Which this man is going to cause everybody down here to get that. It's going to be written into legislation. You're going to be required to have this, man. Just like he's trying to require that everybody has a jab pass. All right. This, this is going to be the same way, man. And he don't give a damn about what the Constitution says, what laws are in place in these different uh, societies. He don't care about that. All that can be written over if they have the proper crisis, like what's going on now. And you people will freely give your rights up if it's for, uh, you know, safety and security. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a haragma in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the haragma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you ain't going to be able to make moves out here if you don't have that, man. All right. And it also, uh, you know, going back to the article that we read, you ain't going to be able to go outside if you are not, you know, uh, uh, clean from these different of uh, uh you know diseases that's out here man and how they gonna determine that through your subdermal device all that information is gonna be on there man so they can just you know scan and then determine whether you are or whether you aren't and they ain't gonna have no pieces of paper that you can forge man so everybody be safe all right 
It says, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. And this is a uh, revelation 14 and nine. It says, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, you got a lot of worshipers of the beast out here, man. You, you beginning to see it more and more every day by the people that's lining up to, you know, take this jab, man. These people are completely, you know, uh, uh, immersed in this society. They listen to whatever the beast tells them to do. You know, and they love this place so much that they'll, you know, put their own life at risk to have things go back to normal, man. You know, they really worship this place. And this is pretty much the end all be it all. So they'll sacrifice their, their rights, you know, sacrifice, uh, uh, you know, their integrity as an individual to take something because the beast is telling them to take it and that it's going gonna, it's gonna to make, you know, everything go back to the way it was. All right. It says, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his haragma in his forehead or in his hand, and you're going to have a, a lot of people lined up for this thing, man. The same amount of people that you see, you know, uh, uh, lining up for the jab. Well, it's going to be even more than that because there's going to be more restrictions. You ain't going to be able to, to, to move out here if you don't have that haragma, man. See, right now, if you ain't jabbed up, you can still go to the store. You know, you can still go uh, get, have your job. You can still rent uh, your apartment, have your house. You ain't going to be able to have those things if you don't have the haragma in that day, man. So more of these people going to line up because more of these people are, are immersed in society, man. They, they can't see anything outside of this, you know. It says, and receive his aragma in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if you receive that aragma, if you line up and, and put that subdermal device in your hand or in your forehead or any other part of your body, you're going to get burned up, man, guaranteed. Esau can't save you from the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints, and here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shah. And what's our faith? That you individuals that disobey the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you're going to get destroyed. And us that are obedient, to the commandment that don't bow down to this man's system that don't receive his haragma we're going to be rewarded with the kingdom and salvation you know so i just want to go into that yahweh bashim yahweh shai willing it was edifying i want to give all praises to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim yahweh double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone shalom